This question says, Adam wants to find an estimate for the number of fish in a lake. He catches 20 fish from the lake, marks them with dye and puts them back into the lake. A week later, he catches another 40 fish and eight of them are marked with dye. Work out an estimate for the total number of fish in the lake. So we know that 20 out of all the fish, 20 out of the total number of fish are marked with dye. And from the second sample, eight out of 40 are marked with dye. So we're going to say that these are equivalent fractions. So how can we find the missing number? How can we find X? So what do we multiply eight by to get to 20? It might help if we simplified this fraction first. So eight and 40 are both in the eight times table. Eight is one eight and 40 is five eighths. So 20 over X is equivalent to one fifth. So to get from one to 20, you multiply by 20. And whatever you multiply the top by, you multiply the bottom by the same thing. So X, our number of total number of fish must be five times 20. And that is 100 fish. We might be asked what assumption we made. And the assumption is that none of the, well, one of the assumptions we can use is that none of the dye has rubbed off. All the dye has stayed on the fish. If the dye had rubbed off the fish, then this number eight would have been bigger and our estimate would be an overestimate. There would actually be less than 100 fish. Okay, here's one for you to try. So pause the video and give this question a go. So Ben wants to find an estimate for the number of squirrels in a forest. He catches 50, tags them and releases them back. So 50, out of the total number of squirrels have got tags on. A week later, he catches another 60 squirrels and six of them have a tag. So six out of 60 have a tag. Work out an estimate for the total number of squirrels. So find this X, find the total number of squirrels. So again, I'm gonna simplify this fraction first. So six out of 60, six and 60 are both in the six times table. So divide top and bottom by six and we get one tenth. So to get from one to 50, we're gonna multiply by 50. And to get from 10 to X, we're also gonna multiply 50. Whatever we multiply the top by, we multiply the bottom by the same thing for fractions to stay equivalent. So the total number of squirrels is 10 times 50, and that is 500. So our estimate is that there are 500 squirrels. Again, we've assumed that all the tags stayed on the squirrels. If some had fallen off, then there would actually be less than 500 squirrels because this six would have been a bigger number, which would have meant that we multiplied by a smaller number here, and we ended up with a smaller answer. So if some tags had fallen off, there would actually be less than 500 squirrels. We would have overestimated.